And we're back here at Cope's Corner making investments simple and fun for you. It is July 1st and we're going to get right into it now. So first I just want to say that this is all for educational purposes only. So just remember that. And we're just going to review last week's trade highlight. So it actually would have hit a 30% target. So, you know, it's uh, it's... It makes a lot of sense to set these targets. Um, otherwise, you know, it, end, it ended up closing at exactly where it opened up last week. But if you had set the target, you would have hit a, a 30% uh, target. So it's time for this week's trade highlight. And this week's trade highlight is brought to you by CDMO is the ticker. And here is some of the stats on the stock that I pulled up. Uh, so it's about a quarter of a billion dollar company, the market cap, um, and there's 40 million outstanding shares. And last Friday, it was up 40%. So this thing just came alive right here and traded almost 9 million in volume. So that's almost 25% of the company was bought up. And so I, I actually do these alerts on the, in the Facebook group. And if you just search IPA on Facebook, and request to join, I'll go ahead and add you there. So next ticker is WKHS. This has been a trade highlight before, and it is definitely a sending triangle pattern. We're looking for a big breakout soon. It may not be this week, but we're definitely tracking it. Next ticker is CRMD, and this has a nice more buzu candle. Last Friday was up almost 19%. And MLNT is the next ticker, also another Morubuzu. Friday was a good day for a lot, of, a lot of these penny stocks. So MLNT, this, this pattern is, is a kicker pattern, but the kicker happened last week, but it's, it's still looking good, so we're tracking it for sure. Next company is AKRX is the ticker. And this looks like a good breakout pattern, but... Um, this is the one we're least confident in because it is just meeting that uh, 200 period moving average, which is looking uh, looking like it's gone down pretty hard. So we're going to be tracking this, but a little also a little careful. So here's this trade template that we filled out. Now you want to do this on your own. You want to fill out your own individual numbers when you do this. So the link to download this is tradeplanconsulting.com backslash tip dash tools is where you can find this tool. And it's super useful, calculates your risk. You can drop down these pattern menus and the chart menus and the stops and the targets. And it actually calculates how many shares to buy based on your position sizing and your inputted account balance, which is all drop down menus, super user friendly. So Definitely want to go to this link to download. The link is tradeplanconsulting.com backslash tip dash tools. So make sure to get that. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about with these candlesticks, then you definitely want to check out my new course, Candlestick College. It is an introductory course to understanding the markets and all the charts and the candlesticks as well. So definitely check that out at tradeplanconsulting.com. Can't miss that link. It's the first one. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to follow the inflection PT is the handle on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to follow. And if you have any questions or comments about this video or any other video that I do, just leave them below and I'll make sure to answer them. So. That's it for this week, and I will see everyone July 7th, and we're going to do a special episode next week, and I'm going to be hopefully live trading as long as the setup's there at, uh, at my beach house in Seattle City. I'm running beach house for a week, and I'm going to try live trading from the beach house. So I'll see everyone next week at Cope's Corner.